everybody welcome back to part two of dividing radicals and just in case you didn't get to part one yet or skipped over it make sure you pause the video and copy these steps down all righty now let's look at the second example it says four square root of 25 over square root of nine now step one says to reduce the fraction under the square root if possible so basically the way we're looking at this problem is that we're going to write our coefficients as a fraction which is 4 over 1, and I'm saying 1 because there's an imaginary 1 in front of the square root of 9, times, and I'm going to write my square root as a big one, and the numbers that are under the square root will form a fraction of 25 over 9. Now, usually we'll try to reduce the fraction, but as you can see, with 25 over 9, you can't really reduce that because there isn't a number that divides into 25 that also divides into 9. So, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next step. The next step says to take the square root of the numerator separate from the square root of the denominator. And I'll go ahead and just bring down my 4 over 1 because I haven't touched it. Square root of 25, that's a perfect square. It equals 5. Square root of 9, perfect square. It equals 3. All right. The next step says to cross simplify. So the numbers that we're looking at that are across from each other is the 4 and the 3. And if you think about it, there isn't a number that divides into both of those. So we'll leave those alone. And the 5 and the 1. There isn't a number that will divide into both of those besides 1, so we'll leave those alone as well. The last step says to multiply. That's when you multiply your numerators together and then multiply your denominators together. 4 times 5 gives me 20. And 1 times 3 equals 3. And that's it! 